As you might know from our previous video, NASA's Ingenuity helicopter suffered damage to its rotors during its last flight. However, recently it was spotted by the Perseverance rover, broken and alone, on a Martian dune, and NASA is not giving up on this helicopter. In this video, we will explore how the helicopter got damaged, how NASA is trying to assess the damage, and what the future of the helicopter and its mission is. So, if you are curious about the fate of the Ingenuity helicopter, and you want to know more about its achievements and challenges, then stay tuned and watch this video until the end. The Ingenuity helicopter was designed to be a technology demonstration, a proof of concept that flying on Mars is possible. It was not meant to be a scientific instrument, but rather a companion to the Perseverance rover, helping it with scouting and navigation. It had a mass of only 1.8 kilograms and a span of 1.2 m. It had two counter-rotating blades that spun at about 2,400 revolutions per minute, creating enough lift to overcome the gravity of Mars, which is about 38% of Earth's gravity. It also had a solar panel, a battery, a camera, a communication system, and a computer. It was deployed from the belly of the rover on April 3rd, 2021, and it made its first flight on April 19th, 2021. It continued to fly for more than nine months, performing 72 flights in total, covering a distance of about 16 kilometer and reaching a maximum speed of eight meter per seconds and a maximum altitude of 12 meter. It also took more than 1,500 photos of the Martian surface, some of which were used by the rover to plan its route and select its targets. The mission was originally planned to last for only 30 days, but it was extended several times, as it proved to be more resilient and capable than expected. It also faced some challenges, such as surviving the cold nights, dealing with the dust, and coping with the communication delay with Earth, which was about 15 minutes. However, the helicopter's luck ran out on January 18, 2024, when it performed its 72nd and final flight. It landed on a featureless, sandy area without any visual cues to help it stabilize. It suffered damage to its rotors, possibly due to a power dip, a ground contact, or a brownout, which is a loss of visibility caused by the dust kicked up by the blades. The helicopter was unable to take off again, and it remained motionless on the dune. The rover took a photo of the helicopter on February 4th, 2024, showing its sad and lonely state. After the helicopter's last flight, NASA and JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory that built and operated the helicopter, tried to figure out what went wrong and how bad the damage was. They decided to use a method that involved slowly rotating and wiggling the helicopter's blades while collecting video footage from the helicopter's camera and the rover's camera. The idea was to see if the blades were still intact and if they could be balanced and aligned. Helicopters are not designed to fly with even a small imbalance, as it can cause vibrations and instability. The method was also meant to test the power system, the communication system, and the computer of the helicopter. However, this method was not easy or straightforward. It had some challenges and limitations, such as, first, the communication delay. The commands from Earth took about 15 minutes to reach Mars, and the data from Mars took another 15 minutes to reach Earth. This meant that the team had to wait for 30 minutes to see the results of each command, and they had to plan ahead for the next command. Second, the environmental conditions. The helicopter had to endure the harsh environment of Mars, such as the extreme temperatures, the dust storms, and the radiation. These factors could affect the performance and the reliability of the helicopter's components, and they could also interfere with the video quality and the signal strength. Third, the uncertainty of the outcome. The team did not know if the method would work or if it would make things worse. They did not know if they would be able to fix the helicopter or if they would have to end its mission. They had to weigh the risks and the benefits of each action, and they had to be prepared for any scenario. The method was still ongoing at the time of making this video, and the team was hopeful that they could find a way to restore the helicopter's functionality, or at least to learn from the experience and improve the design for future missions. Regardless of the outcome of the method, 
the Ingenuity helicopter has already achieved a lot, and it has made a significant contribution to the exploration of Mars and other planets. It has demonstrated the feasibility and the potential of flying in the thin Martian atmosphere, which is about 1% of Earth's atmosphere. It has also shown how a helicopter can help a rover with scouting and navigation, and how it can provide a unique perspective of the Martian landscape. The helicopter has also inspired future missions, such as the Dragonfly mission, which is planned to launch in 2027 and land on Titan, the largest moon of Saturn, in 2034. This mission will use a drone-like vehicle to fly in the thick atmosphere of Titan, which is about four times denser than Earth's atmosphere, and explore its surface, which is rich in organic molecules and possibly harbors life. Ingenuity has also been awe-inspiring and amazing, not only for the scientists and engineers who worked on it, but also for the public and the media, who followed its flights and celebrated its milestones. The helicopter has captured the imagination and the curiosity of many people, and it has shown the beauty and the wonder of Mars and its mysteries. However, the helicopter's fate is still uncertain, and it may not be able to fly again. It may be left alone on the dune, or it may be moved by the rover to a safer location. It may also face some environmental hazards, such as dust storms, extreme temperatures, or impacts from meteorites. The helicopter's battery will eventually run out, and its communication system may fail. It may become silent and dark, and it may never be seen or heard from again. But even if that happens, the helicopter will not be forgotten. It will remain as a testament to the human ingenuity, creativity, and perseverance that made it possible. It will also remain as a symbol of the human spirit of exploration, discovery, and adventure that drives us to reach for the stars. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. What do you think of the Ingenuity helicopter and its mission? What do you hope for its future? And what do you want to see next on this channel? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks again, and see you next time.